Balls of Steel was a hidden camera prank show that was first broadcast in the UK in 2005. In a way, it proceeded and then was quickly eclipsed by similar content appearing on websites like YouTube. I'm sure Balls of Steel wasn't the first kind of prank show like this on TV, but when I watched it as a teenager, I thought it was kind of exciting and edgy stuff. The format of Balls of Steel consisted of a roster of regular performers who would compete against each other to earn the prize for best prank, I suppose. And one of these regular segments was performed by Nedge Dupree. His pranks were called Nedge's Urban Sports, and you can still watch these clips online. To a more recent audience, I suppose these clips just look pathetically tame compared to your average YouTube fare of just aggravated assault followed by the time-honored refrain, it's just a prank, bro. Here's Nedge playing Knock and Don't Run. It's one of his more famous skits. <laughs> This is the outside, this is inside. No, no, this is my door. What are you knocking the door for? You're at it, mate. <laughs> this clip has over a million views and it was uploaded in 2008. So I think it's fair to say that Nedge Dupree is a minor celebrity in the UK, at least. It's often said that we should never meet our heroes. Now, fortunately, Nedge off of Balls of Steel is not a hero of mine but I was still disappointed to become acquainted with his Twitter feed this morning. Nedge's Twitter is just a shitstorm of the worst possible takes on the coronavirus pandemic. So let's take a look. Here's Nedge retweeting a post with the hashtag, where is Tiffany Dover? She's the nurse who fainted after receiving her vaccine. She's fine, by the way. Here's another recent retweet by Nedge asking why nuts come with an allergy warning on the packet, but vaccines don't. I mean, vaccines also come with a healthcare professional who will ask you about allergies, so I guess they don't really need a warning on the packet, but I'm sure there is one. So I think this comparison to nuts is uh, it's pretty stupid, and it's not even a good one by anti-vaccine standards, which is set pretty low. Nedge has also retweeted Gareth Icke, son of the legendary conspiracist and lizard people believer David Icke, I think the Ikes might be a special case where it's actually fair to dismiss someone on their family name alone. And this is a retweet that is just the worst kind of misinformation. It's a supposed list of causes of death for under 60s in the UK. And it says that 377 people under 60 have died from COVID-19, and it compares this death rate to choking, drowning, and suicide. But what the retweet does not mention is that they've excluded 3,000 or so deaths in that age group. Why? Well, there's certainly no clue on the graphic, but if you scroll a little further down Nedge's feed, he's also shared this headline from the Daily Mail, which explains where this number comes from. The 377 refers to those who have died under 60 with no underlying health conditions. So not only is this list wrong, it's also just horrible. These people with health conditions are no less worthy of being counted as deaths. And look, if you exclude the people who are most vulnerable to the virus, the elderly and the sick, of course the mortality will look more favourable. Apart from being utterly misleading, and, and look how it says the source is the Office for National Statistics, I think this is just a really heartless and nasty way to interpret these statistics. And I don't think anyone would accept the same logic in reverse if the virus was disproportionately affecting the young and healthy. This isn't going to be a long video, and I'm not going through Nedge's whole Twitter, it's just a real disaster. And I know this video isn't going to be relevant to people outside of the UK. What's the message here? Well, I don't I don't really know. It's just disappointing, isn't it? That there's someone here with a following of 13,000 people and a blue check mark. I, I guess that means something on Twitter these days. And he's spreading this kind of misinformation during a pandemic. These aren't even good criticisms of the lockdowns or testing programs. So to conclude, I, I suppose this is just another case where someone who was getting paid to act like an asshole on camera wasn't actually acting. Fancy a snack, you fat prick! Freaky! Tweaky! Fucking hot dog! Tweaky! Nugget! Nugget! Apple fucking pie! 
mini cold dog. Second is your prick. Go, 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 go. And that's what I like, that's your fat prick. Yeah, just a short clip, and I'd like to thank Mohammed Shafiq for writing the pun in the title, but not for introducing me to Nedja's Twitter feed this morning. Uh, go and check out Mohammed's channel, and please subscribe to mine if you enjoyed this quick clip. And check out my other videos, most of them are much longer and cover a lot more of the science.